everyone, Jocelyn here. Welcome to this week's upload. Uh, if you're new to the channel, do hit the subscribe button there and the notifications button um, for papery uploads every Wednesday. So it could be absolutely anything papery, books, uh, journals, planners, uh, happy mail, stationery, all of those things, this is the place. Um, what I wanted to do today is just show you some of the papery bits and pieces that I got for Christmas. Just because um, if I don't, I will, they'll all disappear back and I'll put everything away and I'll be like, oh, what did I get again? So um, a couple of people have asked to have a little look. So I will just whiz through. It's quite a fast video this week. So I will start with the books that I got. Um, uh, and I picked up these two. Actually, I picked these two up on Christmas Eve. So I'm counting it as Christmas. Um, uh, we went to a uh, relatively local national trust, which is what we like to do on Christmas Eve, walk Herbie, hot chocolates, you know, the sort of thing. Um, and of course there was a second hand bookshop. So I sneaked in there. I was in there for a while as well. They walked off with the dog. I got to look at the books. So I picked up, these were on, um, little bargain tables. Uh, I always enjoy Nora Roberts. She's one of those, um, writers. She's obviously written ridiculous number of books so i don't have all of her books um which is nice because then when i am in a second hand bookshop i'm like oh i haven't read that one so i pick them up i find them quite they're they're comfortable reads i would say i like a nora roberts book i didn't even i've glanced at the back now i didn't even look at the back i just saw that it was nora roberts and thought well, i haven't read it i'm gonna try it so i got that one um and lucy diamond i also enjoy i've read quite a lot of lucy diamond books um, again, it's one of those, if I see one and I haven't read it, I grab it kind of kind of authors. Um, so I'm looking forward to reading that one as well. Uh, I then had, uh, for Christmas, um, I'm enjoying reading these um, historical books, historical romance uh, by Evie Dunmore. Um, so there's Bringing Down the Duke is the first in the series. Then I have... Uh, a rogue on zone and then portrait of a scotsman which i'm about to finish i will finish that today um before i go to sleep i am sure um i'm really enjoying those uh i think correct me if i'm wrong and you know that as soon as i finish filming i'm going to tootle off and check this i think this is her these are her first books um but i'm gonna have a look because if she has done any others i will pick them up because i'm really enjoying her so i've got those uh, then I ordered a couple of, with some Christmas money, I ordered a couple of these off Amazon because I'd seen these. I've read um, The Chalkman. I want to say I read that last year. But the years merged, don't they? The, the pandemic years merged. Could have been the year before. Anyway, uh, I read that and I enjoyed it. So um, I spotted this one cropping up on various bookstagram accounts and thought yes i'm gonna get that one um as you can see that's i think yeah you can see all of that can't you so that gives you an idea of what it's about i'm looking forward to reading that one it's quite different isn't it i do like to switch my genres up so there's that one and then again this one's one that i've seen popping up loads on um instagram i follow a lot of bookstagram accounts it's probably a bad idea because all that happens is I think, oh, I've not read that. Yeah, I need that. And then my list gets longer and longer and longer. Um, I already have more books on my to be read show. I, I call it to be read show. It's an entire to be read bookcase than I can possibly read this year. And yet I'm still here acquiring books. So I saw this one. Let me know um, if you've read any of these, obviously. But um, this one seems to come up quite a lot. And a lot of people have recommended this one. So I thought I need to get this one. Um, so there's that one there. Uh, and then I got... A, blah, I popped into uh, a Waterstones um, a couple of days after Christmas. Still thinking to myself, it's Christmas money. I can, I can do this. Um, and these were on... These two were on... I think these were on one of those, uh, you know, the tables, like buy one, get on half price. So I picked these up. I'd spotted them. And you know what it's like when you love books and you 
are following lots of Bookstagram accounts um, covers are very familiar too so obviously I'd seen these um, but I had a little look at the blurbs on these and thought yeah I quite fancy reading these stories again very um, all very different I like to have totally different books um, and this one as well caught my eye because hang on if I can go in <clears throat> it's been signed as well signed by the author Rachel Joyce so I thought well that's a nice little touch so I'm looking forward to that I don't know what to expect sometimes I don't know whether you do this let me know um I kind of go into uh, a bookshop and I'm like yeah I haven't really I don't really overthink it I, I mean I never go in knowing what I want to get I'm always just going to go in and pick up random extra books um and I try to just have perhaps authors that I don't know genres that I wouldn't normally gravitate towards but I like the look of it I picked it up We'll see what happens. Um, and then this one as well, The Appeal, um, looks quite a good one. Um, so you can see there, mm, is that focused? Yeah, I think it is. Uh, <clears throat> a modern Agatha Christie. I just fancy trying something like this. Um, one murder, 15 suspects. Can you uncover the truth? I don't know. I quite like the way it's written as well. Can you see there's lots of little... Message, message exchanges and meeting notes and things. So it's a little bit different um, the way that it's written. Looking forward to that one. And then this one, um, again, was in Waterstones. It was in one of the little sale bins. Love a Bassett, my um, sister-in-law and brother and nephews had a Bassett. Our old dog was a type of a Bassett. It was a French Bassett, but it was a Bassett. I was drawn to it. I saw it said dog people. I thought, why not? I think it was like a pound or something in the bin. I mean, I've said that. It was probably three or four pound. But it, it was it was in the sale bin. And I thought, this looks good. Um, I've not read this uh, author before. Whoops, sorry, I knocked you then. Um, but I'll give it a whirl. I have no idea what to expect. Let me know if you've read it. I thought it looked fun. I'm going to give it a try. Okay, so that is my... I mean, really, when you look at it, how many books is that? Three, five. I mean, I've nearly finished. Okay, seven night books. In theory, that's more than enough for this month. Um, but I've got loads of others on my shelf, so I probably won't even read those this month. We will see. I need to read this month's book read along next as well. Okay, so that's my books. Then I had um, stationery as well. So I had this cute little memo block with a little drawer. What should I put in the what do you put in the drawers when you have these? These these I think are great. I always use these little memo blocks. Uh, this was from my parents in law. Uh, so they know that I mean they bought me some of the books, they bought me this, they bought me candles, they know me well. Um so they know I love stationery. This is always super handy. So I do use these, but what should I do? What would you do with the drawer? What would you put in there? Little paper clips, pens. Can I fit a pen if it's going to really... I have got small pens. Might just put a small pen in there. Um, I then had um, this pack of postcards as well, which I've not yet opened. Shall we do that? Hang on. Let's have a look. This was from the kids. Because they know, obviously, I've sent lots of happy man. And also, um, I've started doing post-crossing recently. So... Lots of postcards. They are nice, aren't they? I like those. All nice and bright with motivational quotes on. I also like that they're blank on the back as well. So they'll be easy. I can put loads of details on those. I also... Oh, look. That's... Uh, that's that. Um, I also use postcards quite frequently as bookmarks. So I'll have a look at these. And if one of them strikes me particularly, I'll keep it as a bookmark. I suppose you could frame them as well, couldn't you? These sort of things. Okay, so a pack of postcards. Lovely. I have this. Beautiful. I'm pretty sure you can see that. Um, stamp. This was from one of my pen pals. Lovely pen pal of mine um, in the Netherlands. Um, she sent me some chocolate, which was always going to go down well. And this beautiful, beautiful stamp. How pretty is that? As you can see, I've not used it yet. I will do soon. It's gorgeous, isn't it? So I had that. I love that. Um, as I say, she sent me that. I don't know where that's from. I can probably tell you where everything else is from, but I don't know where that's from. And then, finally, 
I had this. This was from a, a good friend of mine, Emma, got me this for Christmas. And as you can see, it's personalized. So it's goal planning with my name on and I like it because it says plans and then it's crossed out and it says actions. Um, and it's uh, a papier. So, I mean, these if, you, if you've not seen these notebooks before, they're absolutely beautiful. Um, the quality is just gorgeous. This in itself feels nice and heavy. I love the design on it as well. Of course, I love flowers. And then the paper, every page feels lovely and thick and luxurious. Um, so I absolutely love this. Well, Emma's coming um, over to see me soon and we're going to do some goal planning together. Actions, goal planning. You would think that this would be the time to get out the notebook. But I've got the thing, guys. You know what I'm talking about. It's a beautiful notebook. I don't want to spoil it by writing in it. How many times have you said that? How many times when you have had a new notebook do you think, oh, I can't spoil it though? Because, you know, writing in it, you know how notebooks are for, for, the, for writing in. No. So I have to really think before I, look at me stroking it, I love it, before I commit anything to this. I'll think I'll and then I'll think about the content, I'll think about the layout, and I'll have to think about the exact pen that I want to use. And I'll I'll do my neatest handwriting in there, which will be an effort. My handwriting's not very neat. Um, because it needs to be kept perfect, doesn't it? And pristine. That's pretty, isn't it? I love that. Um, let me know if you if you have one of these as well. And if you do have one of these, this is what I need to know. Have you been able to write in it yet? Have you been able to bring yourself to spoil? The pages it's a thing of beauty uh so that's it guys that's the, well i think it is i'll probably um turn the video off upload it and go oh gosh yeah i had that as well um but those are the things that i have recalled as i've gone to film this new books new stationery nice little variety plenty to keep me busy anyway uh so let me know in comments below i'd love to hear if you had papery treats over christmas as well um, let me know what you got. I always love hearing from you. Um, and give me a, do give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.